demonstration of Red Hat OpenShift with Red Hat single sign-on. Okay, we've got OpenShift deployed inside of AWS. We're going to go ahead and create a sample project. Go ahead and click Create. Okay, let's go ahead and browse the catalog and locate the single sign-on template. Okay, you'll notice there's four different ones. We're going to use the one with MySQL and persistent storage. I'm going to go ahead and instantiate the template, but before we do that, we'll go ahead and enter a username and password for the administrator. Go ahead and click create. Okay, we'll switch back to administrator and we'll monitor the pod progress. We got four pods, and when two of them go uh, into completed, you know it's finished. Now we can go ahead and look at the routes. In the route location, you'll see a URL. We can go ahead and click on that. When we click on that, that'll open the SSO application. In another tab within the browser, we can click on the administration cons console, and now we can log in as the username and password that we supplied to the template. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add a realm. We'll add a display name for it. We'll go ahead and add a user. We'll click Add User. We'll call it Test User. Go ahead and save it. And then we can go ahead and add credentials. Okay, we'll give it a password. Just call it Test and we'll reset it and we'll set it for a temporary now we can go ahead and create a client we're going to set it for using the client protocol of openid connect we'll call it openshift demo go ahead and save it now we can enter in some additional information Uh, one of the things we'll do is change it to confidential from public. We're going to give it a valid redirect URL. And let's go ahead and give it a name as well. And we can go ahead and save it. And now you'll see a secret is applied. We're going to go ahead and use that later. So now let's switch back to um, the OpenShift platform. Let's go to secrets. And let's list all projects because we're going to try and find the router CA. Let's go ahead and locate that. Okay, we'll go ahead and scroll down. Here we're going to go ahead and copy the certificate value and we're going to save it to a, a text file so we can use it later. Now let's go ahead and create a user. We'll set the identity provider to OpenID Connect. We'll specify the client ID as OpenShift demo, and then we're going to use the secret that was supplied in the SSO application. Go ahead and paste that in. We're going to give the issuer URL to the SSO application.
Now we're going to set the CA file to that router certificate file that we copied or saved earlier. Okay, at this point we can go ahead and we've got all the logins created. We can go ahead and log out. Okay, now we see we have another option to log in to OpenShift with as the OpenID Connect. We'll go ahead and use our test user logon. And it's going to ask us to change the password once we log on. So now we can go ahead and change it to something new. And we can go ahead and log in. Okay, so now we're logged in using the single sign-in. So we've actually got SSO running on OpenShift, but we're also using it to um, actually redirect and log in with. Um, so you can see with this new account we have, we're able to go ahead and create a new project um, and we can go ahead and log out. So that concludes this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it.